Hey everybody, it's Adam back again from the Army Painter with yet another video tutorial. In today's video, we're going to further explore some of the characters that we've developed for a brand new product line that we're calling Game Master. Now, if you've been following along, you know that this has all been a work in progress, even for us back at the Army Painter headquarters. We've been developing these products right before your eyes, especially these characters. So when I finished our last tutorial, which was supposed to be the final one, we looked at it and we said, no, Yalgrim shouldn't have green armor. He should have white armor. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to repaint all of the green armor using some white paint just to showcase how you can change your model as he went. You know, we already had a level up tutorial, but this is truly leveling up. Maybe he's made his way from level one cleric to level four cleric, and that's why he's going to wear the white armor. So let's take a look at some of the paints that we're going to be using today. Now that you've got your paints, go ahead and grab some clean rinsing water. I like to use my wet palette, and if you haven't gotten one yet, you should really give it a try. And go ahead and find your favorite brush, and let's get right to it. So sometimes it's fun to reimagine your characters like we are today with Yalgrim. So all of the green that we've painted on his shield, his robes, and of course the handle of his mace there, we're going to repaint in white. And to start, we're going to be using a bit of orc skin. I always like beginning with a light gray to paint up white tones because we need to have a reference point for our highest highlight. Our highest highlight would be lawful white, a pure white. So we're going to start with gray. We're going to get a nice even base coat. Be very careful here not to paint over any of the areas that we've previously painted in the earlier steps like the armor or the belts. But this is a fun way for you to reimagine and essentially upgrade your characters as your campaign grows. So I'm very carefully here just going to apply this orc skin, this very, very light gray in two very thin coats. We want to water this down so we don't obscure any of the details as we go. In areas like here on the shield, you just want to be very careful and paint inside the lines here. Now you can't always go back and touch these areas up if you need to, but always best to just take your time here and apply a nice, smooth, even coat. So I have finished applying our first coat of orc skin and I applied a second light coat just to ensure that we had a nice, smooth, even base coat. Now we're gonna apply a wash to darken down the recesses and find the shadows before we begin highlighting this white cloth and all the white bits on the model back up. Now I've taken a bit of our shadow wash, which is a nice rich black wash, and I've mixed it with our quick shade wash mixing medium. And the reason I did this is because I wanted to control the pigmentation. So there's going to be a little bit less pigmentation in the wash. You can see it's a slightly more subtle wash across the model as opposed to a more drastic one. This is so that we don't darken down the model too, too much before we apply our next highlights. So we're just going to very carefully apply this all over the white areas of the model. If you think it's necessary, go ahead and apply a second coat. No problem. It's just going to help darken it down and find the pigments ways into the recesses a little bit more. So very carefully just apply this thin down wash using our quick shade wash mixing medium all over the white cloth and pieces of armor on the model. Now that we've allowed the wash some time to dry, we're going to go back to our orc skin and we're just going to re-establish the highlights. So we're going to leave that wash in the recesses, especially here on the folds of his cloak, this loincloth that's hanging down. Just leave that wash, settle into the recesses. That's going to create the nice shadow effect that we want here. So very carefully with thin down paint, we're just going to go about and essentially just re-establish the original base tone of this orc skin. The areas like here, we're just gonna pick out the most extreme folds on the shirt that he's wearing, on his robes, just like so, while leaving that wash in the recesses to give the effect that there is a shadow on the model. Now for areas here on the shield, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just 
refill and repaint inside the lines, allow the wash to guide me. This is like a coloring book here. The wash has created the outlines that I'm going to color within, and I'm just going to reestablish and rebuild up that orc skin base layer. Very careful here. Take your time. You will save more time by being patient at this step than you will having to go back and repaint some of the other areas like the metallics on the model. So just take your time, use thin down paints so you have extreme control over your paints and reestablish that base tone across the model. Now that we've reestablished that first highlight, I'm going to mix a little bit of lawful white to my orc skin. And what I'm trying to do is just build up a light, a light highlight right now. And I'm going to find all the areas that I previously painted, and I'm going to paint just within the lines. This is a great way to illustrate this here on this, the front part of his shirt. So I'm going to pull the strongest point of the highlight all the way on the outside, and then I'm going to blend and push this highlight in. So this isn't an edge highlight like you would normally consider. This is kind of a blend. And if I'm just going to showcase this here for you. If you decide that you don't like the blend, it's a little bit too harsh because you're using a wet palette. If you are at home, then you can just simply blend the two back together for a nice, smooth transition. So again, with that 50-50 mix, I'm going to find the most raised areas, the highest edges, the sharpest edges, and I'm just going to pull that highlight and in the areas that I need to, I will blend that highlight back into our original straight orc skin. Don't forget these tiny pieces of the sleeves of his robe that are just kind of sticking out from underneath the armor. This actually makes a huge difference when you look at it. Once you start to highlight that, it really gives you a sense of where the light is hitting the model. We'll do the same on the other side here. Now I'm using a detail brush from the Army Painter Wargamer brush range. And this is a just about a perfect size for doing these highlights because it's thin, it has a very fine point, but it's large enough to hold enough paint in the bristles. So the paint won't dry out too soon while you're painting. Now here on the shield, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint a little bit of this mix of Lawful White and Orc Skin into the bottom. And again, just like we did on the robes, blend it into the pure Orc Skin. And it's going to give a nice natural gradient, a nice natural highlight to the shield. Now that that second highlight of our Lawful White and Orc Skin mix is complete, we're going to move on to pure Lawful White. And this is what's really going to make this white cloak appear white. When we're painting colors like white and black, we're really painting in gray tones. And what we're trying to achieve here, if we were to paint this all white, it would look very flat. So you want to have those gray tones in there to give it a more realistic appearance. So now with the Lawful White, we're just going to apply a very fine highlight to the most extreme edges like here on the folds of the robe. In some cases, you could just use the side of your brush to apply an edge highlight. And of course, you don't want to miss out on the sleeves on the arm. As I mentioned, you know, when you look at a model, the upper half of the body is what you see most first your eyes are drawn to the face but these arms and the way that they appear here are really where your eyes drawn next so being able to achieve that brightest white in the topmost area of the arms is really going to pull off this white effect white paints are tricky sometimes i love our matte white it is very strong pigmentation but it can be a bit chalky, all white paints can. So what you wanna do is make sure that you water them down, make sure that they're nice, thin, and controlled. Make sure when you do water it down that it's nice and mixed and perfectly agitated in there, perfectly mixed and amalgamated is the right word that I wanna be using here, not agitated. Uh, you wanna be 
sure that the water and the paint mixture is perfectly smooth, perfectly blended, so you get nice, smooth brush strokes on your model. Now on the shield, you might be asking why I'm not highlighting the top portion of the shield and instead focusing my brighter tones to the bottom. Well, the answer is quite simple. When the shield's hanging off of his back, I suspect that the light is going to catch the bottom of the shield more so than the top. So that's why I'm focusing these brighter highlights down in the middle of their, excuse me, the bottom of the shield. So I'm going to apply my lawful white. I've got it nice and thinned down on my wet palette by the Army Painter. And you see, I'm just going to pull this into the corner. Make sure I've got a nice even coverage at the very tip. Then I'm going to go back to my 50-50 mix of the Orc Skin and Lawful White. And I'm just going to blend that in for a nice smooth transition. Now the best part about working with a wet palette when you are painting these fine details and you get into these masterclass stages, these advanced highlights, is that you still should have the paints that you previously used wet and workable on your wet palette so you can continue to go back to them like I'm doing right here to blend those highlights and get a nice smooth transition. You see how that smooths out right into the white and you get that white right in that top corner but I'm mixing in that 50-50 mix of Lawful White and Orc Skin to blend it in to make it seem a little bit more natural. Now we're gonna repeat this across the rest of the model and that'll be it for the cloth. Thanks for joining in as we revisited and really leveled up our favorite dwarf cleric model today. It's been really fun repainting and rehashing that green armor and re-envisioning it in white. Now remember, you can find all of the paints and products that we use today from your friendly local game store, your favorite online provider such as Amazon, or at www.thearmypainter.com. Remember that the magic in miniature painting is that it can be as simple or as challenging as you'd like it to be, but with the right techniques, you're sure to achieve some great results. We'll see you next time.